Okay, you guys, in the last video, I ended off with showing you guys a little clip of Sakor saying Dona's name 82 times as he sat in the bathtub. I repeat, 82 times within a 10 minute or so period. That is insane and will cause psychological problems in any animal if they had to hear that. You guys saw Dona's behavior. He did a lot of fear grimacing. He did a lot of cowering away from him. He did a lot of lip smacking and a lot of finger sucking. These are all signs that Donna is filled with fear and anxiety, not that he's aggressive. And I think I did more than prove that. Sakor now has his audience convinced that Dona went through this horrible experience and that his behavior has somehow changed. I mean, just take a look at these comments. Oh my God, what have these cruel people done to him? He's so afraid, frightened. Do they think this is acceptable to treat monkeys this way? It has fetched tears to my eyes. Honestly, it must be breaking your heart, but you have calmed him down and you will gain his trust. Thank you, Daddy Sakor. Good luck. My prayers are with you to help him. I hope things go better for him. He's been traumatized and it will take time to get him better. I hope that he will get better. Donna cannot survive being dumped in the wild. Maybe Mona can help comfort him. I really do hope so. Our poor little boy, Dona, has been through some kind of trauma. I'm sorry, Sakura. In time, with patience, he will learn to trust and relax with you guys again. Do these people not see this? He has not changed. His behavior is exactly the same as it's always been. Dona is not acting any different. I mean, he's always stood there sucking his fingers, and then when Sakura would call his name, he um, will start lip-smacking at him because he's confused. Nobody needs to hear their name 82 times a day. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, nine-month-old Dona or 10-month-old Dona acts exactly the same as Dona did when he was four months, five months, however old. There is nothing really different. Now take this clip where he He's going to pick Dona up and look what happens. Dona starts screeching. Now let's look at some other clips where he tries to pick Dona up. Anytime Sakura used to put his hand out to try to pick Dona up, Dona would shy away and start screeching. Then he would come and we would run away and he would try to pick him back up. And as you can see, Dona is scared and he runs to him and then runs away. Here's yet another clip where Sakura reaches out to grab Dona and he's hesitant. He's like making a fear grimace. He's backing away from him and he just doesn't want anything to do with it. He just wants Sakura to give him his bottle. And Sakura has love and necessity messed up with each other. Here's another clip where he's trying to catch Dona and Dona's trying to run away and do whatever he could to avoid getting in his hand so he splashes water on him to calm him down I guess. I don't know. I mean it's just pretty clear in every clip of Dona he just does not like being touched by Sakura. He's always making that fear grimace face. He doesn't want to be touched by him but he's not being aggressive. A monkey that runs away and shows his teeth like that is not being an aggressive monkey. He's just a monkey that doesn't want to be touched. And a monkey who's clearly scared and just wants to be left alone. And Sakura clearly knows that Dona is scared all the time because he always has some type of excuse for why Dona is running away and scared. They're not drink with me. Drink. Daddy will, 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 will hold Mona. Come on, drink. It's okay. It's okay. So if somebody, why Dona always scared? Because now Mona is stronger. Now Mona dominates him man. only, and so uh, he feel not. You feel insecure when he's with Mona. <laughs> that nervous laughter <laughs> pretty much says it all. I mean, how can a monkey be insecure and aggressive at the same time? But ultimately, I don't expect much from a guy who says things like this. Everybody, let me say something. Uh, have you ever watched uh, a video of a baby monkey that they, they owner, um, you know, cut the coconut and let the monkey stay around the coconut? If you find any channel who post video like that, believe me, its owner never loved them. They do like this because what? Because they want to attract the viewer, the kind viewer who have sympathy, who pity the monkey go up uh, with you the, the, the video so uh, if you watch 
any video like this, believe me, its owner does not, its owner don't love them, and you should not follow or subscribe their channel. You know, when the coconut is just like this, and they have a big knife, and they cut coconut, and they pop, 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 and the, 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 the monkey is around. Just the day monkey just stay around because they want to experience what is it? Or they want to drink the coconut juice. If its owner is kind enough, they don't do like that, you know, because monkey is very active and if they didn't stop the monkey on time, you know, monkey hand and monkey tail, monkey hand will be cut. And then does something like this. And today I buy this for Tulu. It's the coconut. Hello, do you want to eat this? Hello? Mm, don't keep your hand here. Don't keep over there. I mean, he literally tells us that somebody who would do such a thing doesn't really love their monkeys, and here he is doing it with a monkey in his lap. I mean, what he says and what he does never matches up. And I think we've learned by now that this guy lies and his stories never add up. And so that leaves us with the million dollar question, what happened to Dona? Well, if we look at back at Sakura's channel over the last few months, there is really not that many videos of Dona. Most of them are Tulu and Prim, or Lily Albert, Lily Albert One, or Anna, or Mona. But Dona did not appear in a lot of videos. Is it possible that he gave Dona away for a little bit, and then he decided he wanted him back because people were pressuring him and asking where he was? Or did he get seized by the authorities? Which is very unlikely because I really doubt the authorities would take him and then give him back. I really don't see that happening. Well, Dona's behavior to me has always been strange. If you guys will remember, there was a video that Sakura made where he introduced him to Lily Albert too. And Dona was pretty much catatonic in that video and had no reaction whatsoever. So what was going on with him then? Why was he acting strange then? Was this before or after he was taken by these supposed abusers? And what house was Sakura staying in when he had made that video? That house was not the normal house that he lived in. As you could see, when he bathed the monkeys during that time, he was bathing them in this really modern looking bathroom. And not the normal bathroom that we have always seen him bathing the monkeys in that we know is in his parents' house. By the way, when it comes to this bathroom, am I the only person that's ever stared at these tiles and wondered what the hell is going on there? Is there actual grass growing out of in between the tiles in the bathroom? Or is that like printed on the tiles? Can anybody help me out? Because I find myself always staring at it. I mean, if you look at this little piece where Lily is, it kind of looks like there's actual grass coming out of the tiles. And if that's the case, why the hell is there grass coming out of the tiles in your house? I would have to say that's something that's pretty unique to this bathroom because I've never seen anything like it before in my life. But anyway, back to the weird bathroom. Why was the court filming in this bathroom? And then do you guys remember he made a new room for Mona? To know this room first. You can see. Is it cute? <laughs> well, that seems scared. If you look next to Sakura's cankles, I mean his huge calves, I mean his tree trunk legs, I mean his foot, you'll see that the floor that's in this room is completely different than the flooring that runs all throughout his parents' house. So where was this room? Well, I happen to believe I know exactly where this room is. This room is in the new house. In videos that he posted yesterday, we could see that the floor matches the floor that's in this new room, and so do the curtains. And so if that's the case, then that means that Sakura didn't move when he said he moved because he had already lived in the house. This video that was posted of the new room was posted on December 8th of 2020. If you'll remember, he took a little hiatus back at the end of December, December 31st to be precise, and it was about seven days later when he finally posted again on January 6th and pretended that he was moving. I mean, his biggest supporter, Misty Paulo, whatever her name is, even said it in this comment right here, as you guys could see. 
She says nothing happened except he moved to a better place for the monkeys to play. Why exaggerate things? And during this time, he neither confirmed or denied if that was the case. But I think when he came back, he kind of made it seem like, yeah, I was moving. Or maybe he was just liking comments. I don't remember exactly what happened there. But clearly, he had already been living in that house because he posted videos two months ago of that house. Now, I started looking into the house, and the only reason being is because a subscriber of mine had actually found the listing to this exact house house. And in the spirit of backing up what I say and bringing receipts, I'm going to prove to you guys that someone actually did find the house. So you guys could see the kitchen and you could see right in this part of the video, he's standing in front of that really pretty window thing, whatever it is. And you could see the reflection of that window in the countertops. And then as he moves, you see the other window on the left side of the picture. You can see the cabinets are the same, the countertops, the backsplash, et cetera, et cetera. So clearly this is the house. Now let's take a look at another room. So this is the living room, and as you guys could see in this video that I put, you could see Mona's on that table with the pink chairs, and you could kind of see the paneling in the background matches up, although they have furniture in um, the picture where I guess it was removed, but this house was sold, rented, fully furnished. And lastly, we got this outdoor area where we will see in a second no, no, Saki no, no, no. walking with Mona on his shoulder through this area in the backyard. And uh, you can see that that kind of green, whatever that is, um, area with the vines growing on it is the same in the picture, although Saki is now walking in the opposite direction. Okay, so now if we look at the actual listing for the house, and I crossed out some of the information just to not be a complete a-hole, we could see that there's actually four bathrooms in this house. And so that bathroom that I showed you guys earlier that Lily Albert too is being bathed in is probably one of the four bathrooms the gray in the house matches with the rest of the house if we look at it. The bathroom that they currently use now also is gray and has a lot of gray accents in it. There's just a lot of gray throughout the house. If you look in the videos, the walls are gray. They have gray accent walls in almost every room. The floors are gray in some of the rooms. And so I would have to say that that bathroom that we saw Lily Albert being bathed in is one of the bathrooms in this house. Now, now the question is, where is Anna? Where did Mona go? Where did uh, Dona go? And when did Sakor start living in this house? So for shits and giggles, I decided I was going to contact the real estate agent who had listed this house. I told them I had a monkey and I was looking for a house to live in. And this is the response I got. It reads, thanks for your email. We contacted the owner of the property that you asked about. The owner informed us that they have rented their property privately to a local Cambodian. Because rental properties in Cambodia are listed with many different real estate agents, owners don't bother to inform all the listing agents when their property has been rented. We have now delisted this rented property from our website. Now, I found this next part weird that he even added this in. He said, during our conversation with the owner, he told us that he is aware that his tenant is raising monkeys on the property. He goes on to tell me, in our experience, it is very hard to find property owners who agree to allow tenants to keep domesticated animals such as cats and dogs on the premises. We never had anyone request to keep non-domesticated animals such as monkeys on a property before, and it would be virtually impossible to find a landlord to agree to this. So now going back up to the beginning there, I just want to point out that this one part where it says the owner informed us that they have rented their property privately to a local Cambodian. Now, why would they do that? Well, I have a feeling it's because whoever owns the property knows Sakor personally. Perhaps it's a friend or family member that personally knows him. Now, uh, Sakor was misleading people, and I can't for the life of me find this clip, but I do remember him saying in one of the videos, and a few other people remember as well, him saying that he moved by the mountains, which is, again, a complete lie. Now, the listing, for some reason, did not give the exact address of the house, but it did give a general location, and it is located in the province of Siem Reap, in the village, I guess they call it there, of 
now is not near the mountains, but if you look on a map of the town that he lives in, look where it's located, right next to the Angkor Wat temples. So why is he misleading everybody and telling them that he lives in the mountains? I That I can't answer for you guys. But here's the thing. You could very clearly, in a lot of the videos, especially the ones where he's outside, you could very clearly hear temple music playing in the background. Why are you so mean? Hmm? In fact, one of his subscribers even commented on it. And of course, he never answered the question. So what does this all mean? Well, I did a little more research into when this house was listed, and it was actually put on the market last year around February. And then it was listed again in August. And that must have been around the time where it became available and he rented it. So I'm saying anywhere from August to September, obviously he was already in there by December. Seems like a pretty desirable house in a pretty desirable location. And so I can't imagine that it sat on the market for too long. So what does this all mean? Well, it means, first of all, that Sakor didn't move when he tried to pretend like he was moving. He was already living in the house. And as we saw, as far back as Lily Albert won. But why exactly did he move out of the house, especially seeing that he is now saying that he's going to move back into the house as soon as his monkey enclosure is done being built? So in this video, Sakor is basically saying that the COVID lockdown in his country is over and now he could build the enclosure for his monkeys. Now listen to what he says next because I think that's the really important part. I have to work five or six months to, to, to get a salary to build this enclosure and room. So if anyone loves Dona, Mona, Dulu and Prim, and if you wish to help us, please contact, please contact me by the video. Uh, sorry, contact me where the email provide in the description of the video. Well, besides the fact that Dona clearly got over his PTSD and amnesia really quickly, um, this doesn't make any sense. He's saying he had to work for five to six months to in order to get the salary so that he could build this enclosure. But at the same time, he's asking for people to help him. Now, if you were that broke and you needed people on YouTube to help you out, why is it that you're spending $800 a month on rent when you really don't need to. All you really need to do is just watch over your monkeys closely so that they don't get out of the house. I mean, is that really that hard to do? So I'm sorry I'm having a little trouble believing that this guy is as broke as he says he is. And that leads me to wonder what happened to Anna and Lily too. Now, the illegal trade of wild animals in Cambodia is a huge business, okay? People poach these monkeys for bush meat. They poach them to sell them to people who um, want them as pets. And then they also sell them to laboratories. They'll sell them to countries like Vietnam, who will then sell them to laboratories. Now, I'm wondering if Lily Albert One and Anna were both quote unquote, rescued or trapped from the temple and then sold off for a profit to help him build his monkey enclosure. I mean, it's just really strange that we got no explanation of where either one of them went. I mean, especially Anna, she just kind of disappeared and that's the end of that. And he's still pretending that his other monkeys were taken away, but then somehow magically given back to him. Now, with all this said, I mean, you guys are probably wondering, where are you going with this? Well, it's been a long time belief of mine personally that either him or Saki or possibly both are videographers at the temple. If they're not videographers at the temple, then they definitely have some type of connection to the people who are videographers at the temple. If you guys will recall, back when they went to go visit the temple and they were looking at all the monkeys, Saki seemed to know, you know, the ins and outs and all the monkeys names and everything about these monkeys so I'm really starting to wonder if these guys are not you know poachers themselves or somehow involved in the illegal trade of these monkeys because how did Sakura even acquire you know 
Mona when she was a baby and Donna when he was a baby. I mean, he didn't rescue all these monkeys. You know, these monkeys don't really get abandoned in the forest that often. There's really a high survival rate um, for baby monkeys. So I really don't believe his story that these monkeys just happened to, you know, be abandoned somewhere and he rescued them. Um, he obviously purchased them from somebody and he obviously has a connection to the temple and everything else. And so I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this whole situation and what you guys think. Where do you guys think Dona and Mona were? What do you guys think happened to Anna? Where do you think she is now? And why do you think Sakor moved out of his house and is living in this, you know, other house for months at a time and then going back to his old house? house to live with his parents. Um, it just doesn't seem to add up and make sense. And I'm just curious to hear what other people's thoughts are on the situation. So that's going to be it for this one.